Hey everybody, it's Ron, and today I want to talk about Nightwing. I just recently finished all eight volumes of the Chuck Dixon run, so I'd like to go over the series as a whole. The first trade paperback starts with, actually it's a mini-series by Denny O'Neill, not Chuck Dixon. These issues get Nightwing out of his old school Teen Titans costume into the more modern one that we still see today. It's a solid self-contained story, but it also helps Dick get out from the shadow of Batman. From here on out, we get Chuck Dixon's storyline, which takes place in Bloodhaven, and this is where it gets really interesting for me. To be honest, at first, I didn't really like Scott McDaniel's art in this series, but it actually really ended up growing on me. I especially like the panels that show movement and show Nightwing swinging around the city. It looks so cool. A large majority of the series is Scott McDaniel and Greg Land doing the art. I really like the supporting cast that Dixon sets up throughout the whole run. You start to find out how corrupt the city of Bloodhaven is. Dudley Soam starts out as a crooked cop and later turns into the villain Torque. The main villain reveals himself and it's Blockbuster, who to be honest I've never read a story with him in any DC books before but I liked his imposing presence compared to Nightwing. He wants to take control of the city's organized crime, and Nightwing is a major thorn in his side throughout the books. Some notable love interests are Oracle, Huntress, and even his landlord, Bridget Clancy. Dick and Oracle have the most chemistry, and they play off each other really well in this run. There's also Tad, who's a deranged wannabe vigilante that Nightwing even takes under his wing for a short period of time. Overall, this is a series that I would recommend to any Batman fan. I really found myself enjoying the lower level crime stories. I got so used to Scott McDaniel's art that I was a little disappointed when it didn't continue in 6, 7, and 8. I think those were the three that he kind of dips out on. It was really nice to see Nightwing fleshed out this way. You get to see just how different he is than Batman. One of my only real complaints is I feel like Chuck Dixon didn't really get to finish a story. The eighth trade paperback ends kind of abruptly. I know that Devin Grayson ends up taking over the Nightwing series, but I've heard mixed things. I'll still check it out. So let me know what you guys think about this run of Nightwing in the comments. And be sure to like and subscribe if you're digging the content. Thank you.